What's happening, guys? Joey B here with another global economic collapse report. And apparently, according to this article here, uh, China and Japan have reached a pact to sideline the dollar. And a Chinese prime minister and his Japanese counterpart uh, have reached an agreement to promote direct use of their currencies in bilateral trade, limiting the use of the dollar in Asia. And uh, this will obviously uh, greatly impact the uh, uh, United States economy and, and the uh, value of uh, their currency. Moving on to uh, globalresearch.ca and an article here uh, by Bob Chapman. And the title reads, Grim Economic Prospects for 2012, Social Upheaval, Bank Defaults, and Financial Chaos. So I'll link you up to that read, uh, just more on what most of us already know and the crumbling uh, uh, of society as we know it. Here we are on SOT.net, and we've got this article, and the headline says, U.S. Government of the Rich, by the Rich, and for the Rich. You know, I'm sorry to say, but it's not just in the U.S., but uh, uh, obviously this article touches on... Uh, uh, just the U.S. here. So uh, we'll read a brief portion, and it says, According to a study reported Tuesday, nearly half the members of the United States Congress are millionaires. Of the 535 legislators, 100 members of the Senate, and 435 members of the House of Representatives, at least 250 are millionaires, and the median net worth is 913000 67 senators are millionaires, and the median wealth of the body's 100 members is 2.63 million. While the Senate has long been known as a millionaire's club, the transformation of the House is a relatively recent phenomenon. Uh, the median net worth of members of the House of Representatives, excluding home equity, has more than doubled over the last 25 years, from 280,000 in 1984 to 725,000 in 209 in inflation-adjusted dollars. During that same period, the median net worth of an American family fell from 20600 to 20500 And that goes on to say here, uh, both the Washington Post and New York Times gave front-page treatment to the data uh, derived from f figures collected by the Center for Responsive Politics. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but uh, it's just like we said, you know, uh, um, it's what we're witnessing here is the destruction of the middle class. So they're going to have the rich class and then the poor class. And guess what the poor class is? The slaves of the rich class. That's one of that's ultimately the end goal here. Uh, if we're not already there, but uh, you know, uh, I'll I'll link you guys up uh, to the article as usual in the description box below, and uh, we'll move on. But it's like I always say. Uh, obviously, you know, politics, the banking system. Uh, military industrial complex, the political system, music, movies, uh, you know, uh, legislation. And these are all tools uh, to control the masses. And, uh, you know, obviously it appears they're doing a pretty darn good job at it. And here's another interesting article from naturalnews.com, and it reads, Is the fabric of industrialized society starting to unravel? Yep. Highly complex civilizations are more vulnerable to collapse. And it's because we're so dependent on the system and, you know, fossil fuels and electricity and things like that, that if it was ever taken away, yeah, a lot of our societies would just crumble. And this is ultimately what we're heading towards. Uh, in my opinion. And now, will it happen tomorrow? I don't, I'm not, I don't know a date. It could be years, you know? But if we don't change, you could see where this path that we're currently on is leading us. Very, very simple, you know, and I'm not going to get into a long rant about that again now because I don't want to rant about the same things in every video, but, I mean, it's very, you can see it's blatant right in our faces here. And uh, it says here, this is one of the most important trends you'll see in 2012 and beyond. The global supply lines are breaking down. The just-in-time system of deliveries on tap is deteriorating. And have you noticed how often the products or parts you need are back-ordered or delayed? And it says here that this is what I'm talking about. 
Uh, try to order 3TB hard drives for data storage. You'll discover they are all back ordered. When you order items from Amazon.com that are shipped by third party companies, they're often delayed due to uh, sourcing problems. Uh, anyhow, um, I'll link you up to the article so you can read it, but just another good example is I, uh, I went to the grocery store to buy um, organic strawberries, and it's been a few days now, and the place I usually get them, uh, the grocery store is called Metro over here, and honestly, they said that he might not get any more organic strawberries. He's not, he's not even sure. He couldn't get them. The, they're just not available. So... Uh, you know, I have yet to go around and check other grocery stores, but uh, I found that quite alarming. It kind of ties into what's happening here, or not what 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 they're talking about in this article. This uh, here is an article uh, from uh, the Extinction Protocol, and uh, it talks about, as you can read here, how a loss of faith in politicians and democracy could make 2012 the most frightening year in living memory. And I've I've often talked about it, right? Uh, and it's like Gerald Salente says, when people have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And, and we're nearing this scenario. You know, the Eurozone crisis, the United States debt crisis, uh, uh, <laughs> all kinds of things going on. And uh, legislation just flying through Congress and the Senate and, uh, and, and, and other countries as well, uh, taking away rights, basic rights uh, of humans and... Uh, you know, it's like, look on Black Friday. It's like I said, every Black Friday you hear stories of, you know, uh, even this year a, a dude got trampled to death, okay? No one stopped to help him. They wanted to get that $100 discount on their uh, whatever, iPhone or iPod or whatever the heck it may be. You know, you hear stories, uh, even all these stories are actually from this year that I'm going to mention, okay? And, and I talked about the dude that got trampled, and, you know, you, you, you hear about people... Uh, macing and pepper spraying each other to get to get in there first. What do you think's gonna happen? This is for this is while society is still running, okay. And this is just for goods that are basically irrelevant and will become irrelevant as soon as the grid goes down, whether it's from natural causes or from some other cause, okay. And so, what do you think these people are gonna do when society finally collapses and the economy and the system that they become so dependent on isn't there to provide for them anymore? What do you think when all these people on welfare stop getting reimbursements, uh, or not reimbursements, but stop getting their checks from the state? What's going to happen when old age pensions discontinue? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> people are going to lose it, and this is what the title of this article is talking about. And it's not fear-mongering. It's understanding what's happening so you can prepare mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and, and go into the, the situation with as much knowledge about it as you can so you have a better chance at survival, okay? And keep a positive attitude during the tough times. Because this is the reason why we're given this information right now. It's a tool. We need to look at it and analyze it and see what's happening so we can understand how to uh, rearrange our, our lives and ways of living accordingly. Now, I'll also link you up to uh, to this article. And I talked about people lose, starting to lose it when, when uh, you know, things start to... Uh, crumble, most no notably the economy, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of these uprisings have already started, w whether they be uh, organized by third parties or for natural purposes. The, the uprisings, as you see, year of global uprisings, the, from the Arab Spring, which was engineered by third parties, to Occupy Wall Street, which was also engineered by third parties, a special look back at 2011, okay? And this is why they're putting it in your face, because they want you to take to the streets. They want to create civil unrest, okay? Because what happens? Then they get to bring the military in, impose martial law, and, 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 ha and further enforce their police state, okay? Um, and, and we can see the effects of, a, of the collapsing economy uh, taking uh, – taking effect, you know, in many areas around the globe. And as most notably, uh, as this article says here, 3.5 million homeless and 18.5 million vacant homes in the U.S. Apparently, uh, things are getting so bad that, uh, you know, they're going to start charging prisoners room and board. <laughs> it says here, Riverside County. 
in California to charge prisoners $142 per day of their stay. That's like more than actual rent if they were living in the free world. It's... <sighs> Britain's job market will face its toughest year in two decades with the number of people out of work expected to rise to 2.85 million by the end of 2012, a UK think tank has warned. Apparently, UK unemployment is set to hit new records. Official figures have revealed that the unemployment rate in Britain is set to hit new records in 2012, with public sector civil servants expected to be hit the hardest. New figures released by the Turkish Treasury show that Turkey's gross external debt stock stands at 309.6 billion U.S. dollars by the end of the third quarter of 2011. And I'll link you up to this video here, which reads, U.S. Empire heading toward collapse. Uh, you know, tell me something we didn't know. Uh, it says here, the Russian Foreign Ministry has issued a report in which the United States was slammed for its domestic and international human rights violations. And more on the, uh, as it says here, ongoing human rights violations in the U.S., as detailed in a report recently released by the Russian Foreign Ministry, have led to great friction between different classes in America. As the title of the uh, article alludes to, which I'll link you up to the video in the description box below, uh, and it says, the 1% in the U.S. is bracing for class war. And that's what we're seeing, the destruction of the middle class. Oh, but they've got it figured out. Arms sales can revive the U.S. economy. The U.S. has finalized part of a 2010 arms sale to Saudi Arabia that sees 84 F-15 fighter jets delivered plus upgrades to others. But what are the motives behind it? And it's like they say in this video here that I'll link you up to. Uh, why are they giving all this to one of the most repressive uh, areas? <laughs> it's, it makes you question the motives behind it, as it says here. Here's another really good article, and it's from uh, globalresearch.ca, written by Bob Chapman. And it reads, Grim Economic Prospects for 2012, How the Federal Reserve Overshadows the European Banking System. And they are all intertwined, uh, for the most uh, part. But, uh, you know, it's just another tool of the elite, right? The banking system. I, I told you how, how that's uh, one of their tools to control the masses, and that's what this is all about. Because even when society collapses and the economies uh, collapse, uh, the people at the top still profit from this. In fact, they profit more and they get richer while everyone else suffers. Okay, and the sooner people realize this, the sooner they're gonna, you know, understand and take liberties upon themselves to to gain the knowledge necessary to to realize uh, how we need to go about our lives and some of the changes we need to make. And uh, you know, one way or another, mono this monopoly paper money system is going to come down, and I think it needs to sooner rather than later. Um, but that's why it's important to be prepared because, you know, yes, it's going to be tough and scary, but it's what needs to happen so people aren't dependent on the system, in my opinion. But I am no expert by any means, uh, but that's just how it feels for me. Because I've said it many times, in the end, ultimately, uh, they make it about economy when really it should be all about ecology and I would go as far to say as economy is actually the death of ecology so the more we focus on economy and this unsustainable existence you know the more we're killing our ecology and our planet a prominent economist forecasts a growing economic crisis for the U.S. and EU in 2012 because of an unholy alliance between governments, banks, and the executives and the central banks. Couldn't have said that better myself. The euro has hit a 10-year low against the Japanese currency, the yen, as it suffered a sudden drop by selling from Japanese retail investors and exporters. The debt crisis has indeed jolted the West economy in 2011. So I'm going to link you up with all the articles in the description box below. Much love, my friends, and God bless.